economic propaganda, standard right-wing capitalist rhetoric. This is how the system works. People employ people, and they only pay them $8 an hour because there's plenty of those people looking for work, and so then they just glean a huge profit off that $8 an hour labor that's accomplished. The productivity of that $8 becomes really $25 or $45, and then the rich capitalists get to glean that money, but somehow they earned it because they were able to exploit somebody and pay them $8 an hour because it was a surplus in labor. Human beings aren't ears of corn. Human beings aren't broccoli. You can't exploit surpluses in markets when it's human beings that are the fucking commodity, you idiot. I mean, if you can't figure that out, then you have no ethical integrity. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you have the ethical right to do it. And the capitalists have been exploiting human beings for centuries. They've been exploiting the fact that human beings over-reproduce and create surpluses and excesses that the system can't accommodate at the time, can't grow to accommodate fast enough. And for people to take advantage of that and be proud that they somehow earned the right to basically enslave those people in a contract that people have too much desperation to refuse. I mean, the choice of living or working as a slave, most people are going to make the choice to say, well, at least if I'm alive, I'm still alive. You dumb fuck. Just an example of a sadistic, motherfucking, useless prick bastard. Assholes like you, I would be perfectly satisfied if you all just vaporized and disappeared from the human formula because you don't even have enough basic character and ethics to realize that exploiting is crap and exploiting people for circumstances they have little control over is shit. That is crap. That is bullshit human behavior. That's the behavior of a bacteria with no brain. These are the facts of the economy. This is the drag and the parasitic reality of allowing capital to be controlled by self-interested individuals. We don't want to put capital in the hands of self-interested bastards. It's completely stupid. You want to put capital in the hands of people who are going to engineer and thoughtfully invest the money in the best interest of society, not in the best interest of their individual selves. This is fake money. The banks are lending money that's already been spent but now can be used as collateral to purchase more money to benefit from an advancement in the stock market that has been created by this money that's already been used. It's already been spent once, and now they're going to spend it again in the same market. So they just keep elevating the market with borrowed money, and the borrowed money comes from the United States government printing more currency to satisfy the perception of growth, but the growth is built on borrowed money. That's the scenario. That's the dam. That's the water that builds up over over time. And so you can get away with that for decade after decade playing that game. But just that happened in 1929, it will come to an end. The game will friggin' end and you'll have to go back to the real value, the real bottom collateral that you have re-collateralized 15,000 times. And all that shit, all the cards that are built on the one valuable thing that you started with, the house of cards built on that is going to get knocked down. If we live in a society that's stupid enough, the rich who own those house of cards will try to find a way to extract enough blood from the poor to cement those cards so they get to keep their house of cards. They will use the blood of workers to secure and glue together their fake and, 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 and felonious palaces of bullshit. And that's what's going to happen in this world. If people are stupid enough to let the rich control it, they are going to, to use human beings as, as mortar to keep their house of cards a reality. That's the evil here. The rich are going to destroy this economy. The rich are going to throw this civilization into the Stone Age because they're going to try to keep that house of cards. Who pays the bill when they go bankrupt? The consumer pays. The owners should have to pay the liability. They should owe the money. Why can't they inherit the liabilities of the risk? the real part of the risk, the kernel of the risk. No, we have a society that's paying that bullshit bill. Society should not be paying for what you're calling risk taking. If society is building the net, then society should have control over what the dance is up there and how the people gain from it. The rich can't control that and expect society be holding the net. That's bullshit. If the company kills 80,000 people in India or some other bullshit with their irresponsibility, shareholders should be responsible for that bill. They invested in a company that did the evil. They are the owners of the motherfucking company. There should be no such thing as bankruptcy for a motherfucking company.
Why can people inherit the positive side and why can't they inherit the downside? They should be liable for the real effect. They shouldn't be allowed to say, no, I'm just a stockholder. No, you're a fucking owner. All right, enough said.